What's up, YouTube? It's feeding time. Here at the fish tanks in the classroom. Here I've got a 40 gallon breeder. It's got a it's newly stocked. Uh, I've got a couple Bolivian rams in there. A blue dwarf karami that you can see glass surfing there. He's still getting used to his tank. Got a peacock gudgeon going up and down the glass on that side. There you can see the rams. Beautiful little fish, by the way. I highly recommend them. Super cool. Got a few different rainbows there in the middle. Got a Bozamani rainbow, a turquoise rainbow, and a dwarf neon. I was hoping for a male. Turned out to be a female. They're starting to color up. You can see the yellow on the back half of the Bozamani. Turquoise is showing some good color there. And I can definitely see the yellow fins on the neon dwarf which tells me that's a female got a couple honey dwarf garamis there's one of them over there by the thermometer you can see here they're all front and center they know it's feeding time they know big daddy's here all right let's walk over here got a couple nano tanks here's my gang of tetras I've got three blood fins in there, three red eyes, and three serpe tetras. I know you've probably heard that serpes, or also known as red minor tetras, are nippy and aggressive. They do chase each other around, but I don't have any real aggression. They don't nip at anybody. That big female red eye right there in the middle, that's the sheriff, polices everybody. If anybody gets out of hand, she handles it as you can see right there they know it's feeding time but I haven't had any problems with the red miners the serpe tetras I probably wouldn't put them in a tank with you know angelfish dwarf garamis a betta or anything silly like that because they might nip at the fins but they know their place here with the other tetras right here I've got my betta beautiful copper mustard gas betta and his tank mate gold mystery snail you can see he's here <laughs> check him out got a bunch of mosquitoes here a bunch of mosquito larvae I've got a little drainage hole outside of my room there and I just scoop them up it's always full and you can see he sees them right there and he's going crazy for them already they love these things and I highly recommend mosquito larvae to your fish. High in protein. It elicits that predatory response from the fish which is good for them. And it will really help them color up. You can see right there he's going crazy. He's ready for them. And then over here I've got a new nano tank. It's going to be live bearers in this tank. Right now I've got a couple, three platies in there that are pretty shy still. Don't know if you can see them. Got a blue Mickey Mouse platy, a red platy, and a rainbow platy. There they come. There they come. There's the rainbow, the Mickey Mouse. These guys are new too. Starting to color up a little bit. The red platy is the shyest one. And then I've got a couple that I was going to put in the big tank over there but I was a little worried about them because they're smaller than I thought and that's the clown keely fish I got a pair of them those guys are super cool when they get a little bigger I might transfer them over to the 40 gallon community super cool fish I highly recommend them I've got two of them the male here he's front and center he knows it's feeding time females up here at the top they're front and center they're ready they usually hang out at the top of the water most of the time but they'll move down sometimes everybody's front and center and ready to eat so let's give them some mosquito larvae Oop, got my finger in the way there 
trying to hold this camera and do it at the same time. Sorry about all the shaking. What I do is just use a small net. Look at that. Scoop them up. Got some dechlorinated water here that I'm soaking some driftwood in. So what I do after I do that is I just run them through there to try to give them a good rinse. These mosquitoes come out of an area where there's no pesticides, no fertilizer, no additives. So I don't worry about anything like that. And the fish love them. Again, I highly recommend them. Let's go over here to the big tank. What I do is I just... Well, sorry about this. I just turn the net inside out. Like this. And then run it along the surface of the water to get all the larvae off. And then it's feeding time. As you can see, the rainbows go crazy and gobble everything up. The honey grammys are in there. The Bolivian rams are a little more reserved. They don't jump in with those other guys, but they will get theirs. A lot of times the peacock gudgeon will show up and join the feeding frenzy. The honey garamis aren't too shy, they're always in there. Here comes the rams. They know what's going on. And just that fast. Here comes the peacock, he's down there on the bottom. There's the rams getting in on the action. It's just a feeding frenzy. And they absolutely love them. Okay. I highly recommend them. If you can, if you have a source of mosquitoes, I live here in Florida. We have tons of them. Let's go over here to the, the gang of tetras. These guys go crazy for them too. Again, I just scoop a net full. Give it a good rinse. So as not to put that skank water in my tank. Punch the net inside out and let them go. The tetras go crazy for them. You can see that great color on those serpe tetras, how red they are, and how red the fins on those blood fin tetras are. Got great, don't know if you can see it, nice iridescent green stripe down the back of all those. You can see it there a little bit. Iridescent green scales on the back of the red eye. Uh, red eye tetras really shows up great. They're healthy and they're happy. And I am convinced that feeding them live food and mosquito larvae as a supplement to their diet, to their regular diet, which is flakes and granules. I supplement with live mosquitoes a couple times a week. I'm really convinced that the High protein, live food, predatory response from the fish 
really enhances their color makes them happy and healthy and I highly recommend it if you can get some mosquitoes or drop a bucket outside your house and throw a few leaves in there so you'll get some bacteria and some decay and those mosquitoes will show up that you feed your fish some live mosquito larvae they'll be happy they'll get great color and they'll love you for it alright that's all I got peace out YouTube